So hey guys and welcome to my channel. So this is another video that I'm going to be doing today and I just wanted to um, give you guys a tank tour of my tanks. Now, um, <laughs> now you probably have seen a little bit that Marco's tank is completely different so that's mainly what I wanted to show you but I also added some new plants uh, in Yuko's and the Tetris tank so I wanted to um, so I just wanted to show you guys what I did with the tanks because I'm actually pretty happy with them right now But yeah, so let's get to it. This is my tank Like let's talk about Yuko's tank first That's basic what it looks like the Tetras are actually settling really well. They school sometimes they look absolutely gorgeous they actually fight a lot. Like, I didn't expect them to be so aggressive, but they are quite aggressive look ones. So, yeah, and this is Yuko. Yuko's doing really well. You, you can see that his tail's actually growing back, which I'm so happy about. So, yeah, Yuko's doing amazing, and he's getting along so well with the Tetras. The Tetras fight amongst themselves way more than Yuko bothers them. So, let me go through the plants. Um, so, right here, I think this is a type of stricter. And the strict is doing very well. It's actually branched off. Um, as you can see, there are roots and stuff there. Hello, little Tetra. I put a log in um, as a hiding place, and Yuko likes to go in there. The Tetras like to go in there. Um, and up here, this was a plant I got. Yuko, move out of the way. <laughs> this is a plant I just got yesterday. Um, it's something called like, oh, jir, jir. Um, I'll, I'll Google it, and I'll put it right here about what plant it is because I'm not sure even though I just bought it yesterday so yeah this is that corner of the tank um, I think Yuko and the Tetris do enjoy this because it's so heavily planted here so over here we have the driftwood I don't like this driftwood the plants died because of the cycling I did and but the drift look, look, looks okay but the plant that was attached to it's like dead AF and then up here is the Amazon sword and Curly Ivy's not doing as well as the other plants but the Amazon sword has grown so much it's actually amazing so this is basically the tank there's only one filter in here and I'll get to why that later and there's a heater over there someone asked in my previous video if I had a heater and filter I do you just can't really see them properly so yeah um, I'm using just a random desktop lamp here and it's actually growing my plants so well I think it's like 20 watts which is which is pretty good for this tank so my plants are doing really well under this light and this is basically uh, Yuko's community tank and I really like it I don't have a lid now I'm gonna get some custom acrylic made so I can put a lid on it but I'm not too worried about Yuko jumping out because it's such a big body of water so yeah this is my tank this is Marco's tank. So as you can see, it looks completely different than what it looked right here. There's been a massive difference. Um, the water's kind of brown because of the tannins from the driftwood, even though I boiled it. But uh, the so let's just talk about the driftwood. The driftwood I've shown is just it was ten dollars I think for the Mopani driftwood. I really like it. It's a great focal point. Um, here down here we have some hair grass down there and we have some bacopa here I trimmed it and some bacopa up here that um, oops, sorry about the ring light the bacopa up here that Marco likes to rest on here we have some Anubis which is doing very well it's absolutely flourishing since when I got it a couple months ago and this is the beautiful little Marco so yeah um, back there we have just some of the plants I took from the other tank, we have the stricter, the plant that starts with an A, and yeah, that's basically what the tank looks like. I'm actually really happy with it. Um, I think it looks really nice, and Marco compliments the black gravel so much, because oh god, he is very, very beautiful. Um, definitely not going to get any tank mates, because this tank is 2.5 gallons, is a little bit small. Marco is doing very, very well. He made a bubble nest, and he loves exploring his new setup, so, yeah, I love him. Um, I'm going to talk about what I want to do with this tank. So, this tank, I'm, my, I guess my future decisions about this is that I want to, uh, divide it. I want to divide this tank and put two betters in it. They get three gallons each, and I think it'll look really great. 
so yeah those are basically my tanks and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like seeing my tanks I'm really excited to actually start up a new tank but right now there's just so much going on school's starting soon I have to buy other stuff so I don't have the resources all the time for another tank yet so I'm just really happy maintaining these two I'm gonna get a lid for you tank but otherwise I don't really have any plans to upgrade them since I'm finally happy with the, the two tanks um, I'm not going to be adding any more fish to this tank because otherwise we'll definitely be overstocked. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys like the video. Sorry that there's no pun of the video and stuff because I'm really running out of puns. So if you guys have any un animal puns, please comment below because I'm running out of puns. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll see you guys soon. I'll be making another video today. Gosh. So yeah, bye-bye.